<clears throat> losing patience. You're losing your shit. Okay. You are lacking that balance here. <laughs> Aries, honestly, right now you're trying to control the situation. Okay. You're not going to, you're not letting it go. You're not letting it flow. For you, it's all about control. For you, it's all about, I want it now. You know, I don't care what I want, but I want it now. It's like that kind of energy. Very impulsive, very reckless. You're not being able to wait for something. Something is being worked on uh, behind the scenes. There's something going on in divine timing. But for you, it's like, oh, no. See, three of wands in reverse. There's no divine timing. There's nothing like divine timing. There's only Aries timing. And so work like that. You're going to suffer even more. That's a major arcana. It's a lesson that no matter how much you try to push something, if you're not going to wait for it, it's not going, it's still not going to come. You're going to have to let it go. You're going to have to let it unfold naturally. You need to trust your intuition. The high priestess is all about intuition, right? You need to trust your intuition. You need to hold on to your intuition, okay? Uh, what is going on on this person's mind that Aries is dealing with in love? What is going on on this person's mind that Aries is dealing with in love? What is on this person's mind? What is on this person's mind that Aries is dealing with in love? You're dealing with someone non-committal, okay? You're dealing with dealing with someone who doesn't like to do it the traditional way. You probably want commitment. You want stability. More than stability, you want something traditional, okay? You could be with this person for a very long time and it's come to this point of time when now you're like, you know what, now I want to get into something committed. I want to take this to the, to the next level, etc. And of swords. This could be someone who's stressing the shit out of this. <coughs> They're worried. They're worried. They, they, they have you on their mind on a constant basis. But yeah, right now, they're in no mode of wanting to commit or they're just not being able to do things the traditional way. They they like their freedom, okay? It's, someone, it's a personal belief, right? It's There's no right or wrong to this. But it's just that because they're not doing this, right? You're probably wanting to keep quiet and quiet. You know, like, it's like I'm literally getting Aries. You know everything about this. You know what's going on. But you still want to keep quiet and not talk about it. But you want to suffer from within. You're suffering, right? No one else is. Uh, what does Aries feel for this person? What does Aries feel for this person? One card. What does Aries feel for this person? What does Aries feel for this person? Think of wands. You want this guy to take action. <coughs> Not a guy. Could be even a girl. But that's the energy of the card here. You want this person to take action towards you. Okay. You want a brand new practical beginning in love. Probably you guys have separated. Or probably, you know, you're in the process of letting the tower moment fall. Something like that. I'm getting the tower moment here. Okay. All this not there. But what you want is you're very, very... Um, attracted to this person okay and all you want is for this person to stand up step up their game and make a move towards you make that bold courageous move and not just be laid back okay you want them to leave this love in short what does this person what does this person feel for aries what does this person feel for aries tell me what does this person feel for aries please Three of Cups in Reverse. They look. It looks like they think you're not on the same page with this person. Okay. Three of Cups in Reverse is no matter how much you try, right? There's just this lack of you guys coming together. Okay. Probably again, not on the same page. Maybe this guy's friends on you, or maybe you know what? I'm feeling that the person you're with, right? Maybe this is the person that you're dealing with, who's a high priestess here, who needs some time alone. They want to catch up with their intuition, their gut feeling. And I think this person needs some time alone. Maybe your temperance in reverse, right? This is too much for them, you know? What happens is sometimes, even if you're not talking to them, it's still, your energies are suffocating this person. You want them. You want them to take that action now. You know, it's like, now I cannot wait. And this person is, you know, it's like they're drifting away slowly from you only because they're feeling suffocated in this relationship. You need to stop that. You need to stop that, Aries. It's a little overwhelming for them. Especially with someone who's a commitment hope, it gets even more scarier for them and it drives them away. <clears throat> Give me the mutual energy. What is the mutual energy for Aries and the person they're dealing with in love? See? Lack of people give and take. Right now, it's like a one-sided situation. This is just that uh, imbalance right now. You're both probably not giving in or you're the one who's giving in and this person is not giving you what you deserve. You feel that lack of attention, you know, 
you're not getting that from this person you know the that um you want that equal give and take equal of something could be exchange of communication emotions whatever right but you want that person to make that move towards you with the page of pentacles you want this person to invest into you you want them to be like this diligent lover very hard working and wanting to invest into this relationship maybe they want to but right now with the situation here something's just not being fair okay someone's not fair or something's just not fair Tell me what is Aries' attitude towards this person? Right now, you are both not doing your part. Honestly, both not doing your part. <coughs> Or there is just one person who is doing their part, and the second one is just like, you know what? I need my time. I think Aries, you are wanting to do your part here, but in the wrong way. Okay, this is the wrong direction with the Temperance in reverse here. That's a lot of impulsive moves, very reckless, not wanting to wait. Tell me what is. What what is Aries's attitude towards this person? What is your attitude? What is your outward approach towards the person you're dealing with in love? What is Aries's attitude or approach towards this person? Queen of Swords. See, you've given this person an ultimatum. It's for you. It's like you know what? Either we're doing this or we're not doing this. You've reached that point of exhaustion, and the Queen of Swords doesn't just come up like that, right? She's more like she's taken like a lot of bullshit. And now here she is with the Queen of Pentacles. You know what? I need something stable. I need something secure. I need more more security. I need you to pace up. And if you're not doing that, if you're not giving me what I want, okay, I'm out. I like I like your approach because this is you're being very cold hearted, very hard, very cold hearted to this person. But it's not in the reverse. I don't feel you're being harsh to this person. I think you're just making your point very clear to them. Okay, but. literally in your mind you're going nuts <laughs> you're going nuts you want this person to take action towards you so bad even commit to you but this person is wanting some time alone to think about this maybe this person friends zone you for a very long time you know or maybe they're just with you and they love you there is a lot of love here but when it comes to tagging this relationship or labeling it right that's when they're copying up tell me um That's why it feels unfair. That's why it feels unfair. <clears throat> it feels like they're not giving you what you deserve, what they owe you. Tell me, what is this person's approach towards Aries? What is their outward approach towards Aries? Tell me, what is this person's approach towards Aries? What is their outward approach towards Aries? Yeah, yeah. They want to come towards you with the Ace of Pentacles. They want to make a move towards you. You know why, Aries? Give them some time. Give them some time. They're very willing, very determined. They're ready to overcome any obstacles that come between you and them. But what I think is that they just need some alone time. They just need a break. There is a disconnection between you guys. Okay, the lovers in reverse here. You could be dealing with someone who's got fear of commitment, or there's just one person who's emotionally more involved in this connection than the other. Could be you, Aries, who's more involved. Okay, and this person's a little detached. But again, they still need to learn their lessons. They still need to come to that realization. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Aries and Love? What's the outcome for this spread? What's the outcome for this spread? Nine of Wands. Great. You stay guarded. They stay guarded. There's a lot of guardedness here. Okay, I have a feeling this person's coming towards you. Okay, this person could be living at a distance from you. They're coming towards you. They they know you're the right direction, okay. Although emotionally and logically, they're a little stuck. They're a little stuck here, but their approach is more like very forthcoming. Like, yeah, I'm coming towards you. Let's do this. Let's make this happen. But they're very contradicted, okay. Very contradicted in their emotions. Six of Cups, see reconciliation. They want to come towards you. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this connection for sure. But it's just that they're very conflicted in their mind and their heart. <clears throat> why the why, why the hierophant in reverse? Why the hierophant in reverse? Why the hierophant in reverse? Why is the hierophant in reverse? Seven of Swords could be someone who's suppressing their emotions. Someone who does this, you know, they come towards you with something, you know, with a lot of feelings. You think they're coming in for something serious, and then when it comes to tagging the relationship, they run away. What's what's the hierophant in reverse? Five of Cups in reverse. They need to move forward, or they're <coughs> they're trying to move forward from any kind of disappointment that they had in the past. Now, this Five of Cups reverse does not look like to me like 
within this relationship, within this dynamic. I feel this person could have gone through something terrible in the past. They could have had a bad past and they could have been crying over spilt milk or they could have still been moping over that same connection that they had and they were not being able to get over it, but they finally need to move on. Okay, they need to move forward. See, Knight of Pentacles, this person is very, very slow moving. Okay, so they're going to take baby steps towards you and that's something that's frustrating you. <clears throat> What's the... Tell me why the Three of Cups in reverse. Why the Three of Cups in reverse? Why the Three of Cups in reverse? Ten of Cups in reverse. This person is emotionally unhappy right now. Very unhappy. Very unhappy. This person has huge abandonment issues, by the way. See, that's what I said, right? They could have gone through something in the past where they opened up to someone. And, uh, you know, this person really screwed them over big time. They are wanting this time alone to recuperate is also okay, what I'm hearing. Because right now they're going through like this unhappiness within this relationship. This looks like they're going through something. You you guys could have broken up, separated, or you guys are not on the same page, not talking, whatever. Because with the high priestess, I don't think there is enough communication or no communication at all. But right now, they're taking that time alone. They're taking that time off here. I don't see this as a third party at all. They're just taking their time off because there's this disconnection between you guys. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, what's the chariot? What is the chariot? Eight of swords in reverse here. They want to release themselves from any kind of situation that has kept them stuck, tight and bound. Okay, They're ready to keep coming to their senses, get out of their head and they're ready to make that move towards you. So yeah, this person could have been stuck in their head for a very long time. Maybe constantly contemplating, overthinking or <coughs> analyzing a situation between you guys. But they're coming out of that and they're coming towards you, right at you right at you once you lose your patience you know i literally feel like you're sitting here with that sword it's like oh yeah you better come to me correct you better have something to say you better have something nice to say i better hear something i want to hear or i'm ready to cut your head off because i feel you're fed up i feel you're at the end of it you know tell me what's the high priestess why is this the current situation what's the high priestess why is there so much silence What's the high priestess? What is the high priestess? Four of Cups with the Justice here. Yeah, there is a strong need for something to be fair. You want commitment. You want something secure, like I said, right? You just want things to be fair. You want to restore balance, etc., right? But right now, you're feeling rejected. Maybe you've offered this person... Maybe you feel rejected by this person, you know, probably this person is rejecting your love, your offer, etc. But you are very focused on these three cups that didn't work out, right? You have that fourth cup, you know, that offer is still here. You still have an opportunity to make things right with this person. But you're in that low vibrational energy, you know, like that sad person who is just constantly probably even isolated or just wanting to focus on what didn't work out rather than focusing on what can work out. You know, that's why you're not being able to see those opportunities that are coming about, you know. Because in that very furious need of wanting to make things right or wanting that justice, you know, wanting that fair um, uh, situation where, you know, there's that equal give and take. You you are probably trusting your intuition right now. More than trusting your intuition, I think you're just not talking. You're trying to choose to stay to your, keep things to yourself. <clears throat> What's the nine of wands here? Anyway, someone's still guarded here. Queen of Pentacles, you're the one who's still guarded here when this person comes in. See, with the Queen of Swords, you're not ready to... Um, I don't know how open you are to give this person a chance or when they come towards you, right? Although they're coming out of their head, they're coming to talk to you. But with the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, I think you're sitting tight in your throat and you're like, no, I'm not going to make any move towards you. I'd rather keep my mouth shut and let you do all the work, which is okay. You're sitting nice in your throne and you're going to wait for this person. You, I don't see you giving up yet. I don't think you're still not giving up. You still have that one last shot left. You're still holding on to the end of the rope. You have that perseverance left. Exhausted? Yes. Drained? Yes. But you're still ready to give this one last shot before completely releasing this. Because, you know, Pentacles, you're wanting to stay a bit more logical or just you're very focused on your stability 
I'm literally getting someone. I get what I want, or then I'm out because you're almost there with the Queen of Swords. Yeah. You know, you're not even in that um, mode of wanting to give this another chance, like lure me out, kinds. You know, maybe you are ready to hear this person, but for you, it's like you know what? First of all, facts, logic. I don't want no emotional bullshit. I think this person is coming towards you. I don't see communication coming from this person's side, but they're coming towards you and they're ready to let go of anything that was keeping them stuck in their head. That's for sure. That's the good news here. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.